People love their trends. Whether it's fashion, toys, or tech, every year trends pop up, sometimes out of nowhere. We, we always want the next big thing, and sometimes that can lead to disastrous consequences. Of course, bad trends never look bad at the time, but then hindsight comes around and smacks us across the face. These are trends that are so stupid, you'll wonder how they became trends in the first place. I'm Mike with List25, and let's check out these 25 stupid trends that will make you cringe. Twenty-five, Mexican jumping beans. In a time when the internet wasn't around to pour more fuel on the trend fire, the 1970s, somehow the Mexican jumping bean became a popular trend across America, providing seconds of fun for children and adults of all ages. However, most people don't know that a tiny moth larva lives inside the bean, making it move. People essentially paid money to watch as a moth larva struggled for survival, and it became really popular. It even made a comeback in 1994, which is kind of sad. Now, I don't have Mexican jumping beans, but I do have Great Northern beans. I can make them jump if I do this. These aren't as fun. 24. Not. One trend that was likely instrumental in killing any young adolescent's self-esteem was the catchphrase, not, after a positive statement. Usually it would go like this. Hey, I love those shoes. Not, said the popular kid in school, followed by laughter and soul-crushing defeat. The not-so-clever catchphrase was popularized by the hit movie Wayne's World, but over time fizzled out when kids realized it was just a really dumb and mean thing to say. Not, no, it was mean, don't do it. 23, baby on board signs. Most people think baby on board signs came about as an awareness program after a horrific automobile accident with a child inside. This isn't the case. The baby on board sign was developed in 1984 by Michael Lerner after he saw similar signs in Europe. At first, the signs became a huge hit, no pun intended, in 1985, but produced the opposite effect, causing people to mock them and later were wildly dwarfed by parody signs. Distracting in nature, there's also the case that they may cause more accidents. In that case, epic mission failure. But when I hear baby on board, I immediately think Simpsons. 22. Fanny packs. In the 1990s, fanny packs, against all odds, became a widely popular fashion trend. I mean, they're practical, colorful, and kind of like a belt. How could you go wrong? Unfortunately for this short-lived trend, the fanny pack was quickly thrown out of fashion's good graces, leaving it as a calling card for geeks and tourists. Unfortunately for everyone, fashion designers recently have been trying to revitalize the trend. Oh, the horror. Although I did have a really cool Ninja Turtle one when I was little. My mom wrote my name on it in glow-in-the-dark paint. It was awesome. 21. Harlem Shake. It was just another quiet February in 2013 when all of a sudden, the bass dropped and thousands of Harlem Shake videos appeared as if from nowhere, spreading across the internet like a contagion. The video meme featured the 2012 song of the same name by musician Bauer. A group of people, usually wearing outrageous costumes, gyrated and danced to the music in the video. It's a funny meme at first, but by the third time, you're ready to throw the computer screen on the floor. Now, I never watched any of these videos, nor did I ever do the Harlem Shake. But my intro may I introduce our new video guy, James, who still has it on his phone. Twenty. Sagging pants. A popular style by hip hop artists in the '90s, men sagging their pants has made a bit of a comeback in recent years. Rather than a fashion trend, some think it's a symbol of delinquency and defiance against authority, but I'd wager most just find it as an eyesore. A fashion choice predominantly among men, some guys wear their pants down to their knees, I guess in an effort to showcase their colorful boxer designs or silent protest against the oppressive belt industry. While most people probably wish it would just stop being a thing, many cities and states have passed laws to criminalize this trend. 
If only they do the same for Crocs. 19. Duck face. At the dawn of social networks and the popularity of selfies, the duck face, you know, became a trend for the average people to seem attractive and alluring. Of course, it's taken on many forms, but eventually grew so popular that the internet pushed back, making fun of the trend and turning it on its head, transforming it into a symbol of narcissism. Now the trend is more ironic and self-deprecating in nature, but the results stay the same. Duckface exists, and that's good for no one. If you're taking a selfie, just smile. It's not hard. 18. Planking. Anyone who sees someone planking will inevitably believe it's one of the dumbest trends to sweep the internet. And maybe that's the point. The trend started around 2010 when a popular Facebook group encouraged people to lie down face first in awkward places, take a picture, and share it with everyone. While it may seem like harmless idiocy gone amok, planking has led to several deaths of people who took it way too far. Crocs have killed thousands. 17. Skywalking. Perhaps even more dumb and insane than planking, skywalking is where people climb up tall structures, hang off edges, and take pictures. People afraid of heights will undoubtedly shudder upon seeing these photos, no pun intended. Needless to say, the practice of hanging off high buildings has also led to several deaths. Look, it might just be safer and easier to get a drone, guys. Just saying. 16. Slap bracelets. Originally invented in the 80s by a shop teacher, slap bracelets really took off in the 90s probably by kids that struggled at putting on any other kind of bracelet. Apparently, slapping your wrists with plastic band would be a faster and easier option. I mostly blame school fundraisers and Chuck E. Cheese gift shops for bringing on this colorful trend to children. Eventually, like all trends, it died off, probably when the slap bracelets lost their elasticity and kids figured out putting regular bracelets on were just as easy and less painful. I love slap bracelets. Juan has one still. Juan, give me your slap bracelet. I'm gonna steal it from you. 15. Pet Rock. People will buy anything if it's marketed properly. And in the 70s, that was particularly true when Gary Dahl sold millions of pet rocks across America. He became a millionaire by selling rocks. Let that sink in for a second. Boxed up in something akin to a McDonald's Happy Meal box, the pet rock was literally a smooth stone. Nothing more. It was labeled the perfect pet and had a series of commands, including play dead. People loved it, seemingly, for, seemingly forgetting that there was an endless supply of rocks sitting right outside their door. Now I never had a pet rock and I do know that new ones come with a USB cable. <laughs> but what about a pet brick? Were those ever a thing? Anyone want to buy a pet brick? I'll gladly sell this. Pet $25? Here you go. 14. Tamagotchi. Speaking of pets that aren't really alive, the Tamagotchi was essentially a digital pet rock. And in 1996, before smartphones and tablets dominated kids' digital lives, it became massively popular as kids all over the country embraced these tiny digital pets that they could take anywhere. You had to feed it, clean it, and play with it regularly, otherwise it would die. Of course, you just had to reset it to bring it back to life. Tamagotchis became so popular that most schools ended up banning them for being too distracting in class. My teacher took mine away. This is Deja Vu. I feel like I've mentioned this on the list before, but I had a Tamagotchi and I named him Zippy the Squirrel. And he was the blue egg with the pink like etching. And it was taken away, like I said. 13. Pogs. In the 1990s, American kids were bored a lot. The internet and computers were still in their infancy, and TV only entertained you for so long. So in the early 90s, a huge phenomenon called Pogs came to be. Pogs are colorful, round milk caps that had different cartoon pictures on them that you could collect and trade with your friends. It was also a game that has an official Pog Federation. I know, very serious stuff. Despite marketing team's best efforts, the trend didn't last too long and fizzled out quickly. Probably because, you know, their milk caps. I had so many of them. The slammers were... Mm. Bring back pogs. Those are awesome. 12. Hashtag break the internet. 
Whether it was Taylor Swift wearing a t-shirt, Beyonce surprise releasing a new album, or Kim Kardashian being, well, Kim Kardashian, the term break the internet has become a trendy hyperbolic phrase anytime a celebrity does something huge, spiking social media activity. The term went viral, appearing in headlines and hashtags. Of course, none of those things would ever literally break the internet, and like most internet trends, the saying went from marketing darling to scorned lover. 11. YOLO The term you only live once stretches back to the 19th century, but only until recently has it boomed into popularity by a younger generation. After a string of t-shirts and hats tried to market it as YOLO, Drake and other artists adopted the term, putting it into their songs and rocketing it into the pop culture consciousness. When it reached its peak, it was already being parodied by groups like The Lonely Island on Saturday Night Live. 10. Chuck Norris Jokes Everyone loved a good Chuck Norris joke, up until about the 10th one, and then it became annoying. Starting in 2005 on the Something Awful website, Chuck Norris Jokes became so popular that Chuck Norris got in on it, and they even published a book. Conan O'Brien's sketch of him pulling a lever and showing a random clip from Walker, Texas Ranger probably had a hand in helping bring back Chuck Norris into the cultural ethos. Now it's just one of those jokes you might ironically reminisce about. And list 25's first ever list. 9. Autotune. Sometime after Cher released her song Believe, music producers had the worst idea ever to start throwing autotune into every pop song. Gradually, the trend gained steam until we all found ourselves surrounded by music manufactured through a meat grinder. Artists like T-Pain and Kesha used it in all their songs so much, it was hard to tell who was even singing. The abuse of autotune made the song sound ridiculous. The harsh backlash was inevitable. While the tyranny to our ears has subsided, artists still use autotune today, either ironically or to subtly fix their bad singing voices. Do you believe in love after now? That's my share impression. Something inside my thing. I'm building all things trying to know. Eight. Lolcats. Oh look, it's an adorable cat with bad grammar and a cute phrase. What's not to love? All right, everything. Started in 2006 and made popular on the I Can Have's Cheeseburger website, Lolcats is a big waste of time and gained widespread media attention, way too much by the way, when Time Magazine wrote an article about it. Fortunately for all of us, this trend has drifted off into obscurity, but I'm sure cat lovers still get a kick out of it. 7. T-Bowing Similar to its cousin planking, T-Bowing, a real word, derives from the former football player Tim Tebow when he would kneel in prayer after scoring a touchdown. This trend grew when tebowing.com invited others to send in photos of them tebowing in bizarre places. Some wondered if the trend was mocking Tim Tebow or showing a sign of solidarity. Either way, it's hard to see why anyone would do it at all. By this time, the planking offshoots had gone too far and everyone knew it. It didn't take long for tebowing to go the way of the buffalo. 6. The Macarena If you were a kid growing up in the 90s, chances are you loved the Macarena song and the dance that went along with it. From 1996 to 1997, the Macarena, despite being sung in Spanish, was number one on the Billboard Hot Singles charts. It was so catchy and popular, elementary schools would play the song over the intercom as a fun thing for their students. Somewhere along the way, people came to their senses and realized the song was incredibly obnoxious and the dance was, well, ridiculous. If they knew what the lyrics were about, it's doubtful they'd play it so openly for kids in school. It was perfectly timed. I know. Five, Crocs. Deep down, you probably knew this was coming. Crocs are those hideous, holy, multicolored soft shoes that exploded in 2006, not literally, mind you. Of course, fierce debates have been waged on all sides about the uses of Crocs, some arguing their incredible comfort. However, I think it's safe to say Crocs will always be remembered as those ugly clown shoes people wore in public. In the end, we can breathe a sigh of relief that the shoes have mostly faded from sight 
and those against Croc stood firmly on the right side of history. 4. Shake Weight The shake weight reminds me of those exercise machines in the 40s and 50s that claim to shake off all your weight. And like those machines, the shake weight is just begging to be parodied, but for a totally different reason. It's without a doubt that the marketing team knew people would tear into and make fun of the product. The inventor claimed they only took out a few small ads. That in itself is highly suspect. On the same day the ads hit, they went viral reaching 4 million views, and you can easily see why. It's so suggestive, the most obtuse person in the world could see the innuendo. Hey, here's a thought, how about just lifting some weights instead of buying a gimmick? You know that's not a shake weight, right? Yeah. It's probably the bucket. Three, Kylie Jenner lip challenge. Social media has a history of creating weird challenges. Some can be for a good cause, like the ice bucket challenge helping bring awareness towards ALS research, and others can be stupid, vain, and lead to serious injury. In the Kylie Jenner lip challenge, teenagers took shot glasses or bottles and sucked inward to create a vacuum. This helped puff out their lips to look like Kylie Jenner. Harmless fun, right? Well, apparently creating such a tight vacuum creates trauma to the lips, breaking blood vessels, and causing lacerations and bloody lips. It can also leave long-lasting scarring and changes in pigmentation. The trend has died down, but in case you were thinking of picking up a shot glass and taking on the challenge, I'd carefully reconsider. Two, the cinnamon challenge. I love cinnamon as much as the next guy. It's tasty, nutritious, and makes oatmeal amazing. But this next challenge, seemingly created by a cinnamon addict, is just plain nuts. The challenge involves taking a spoonful of ground cinnamon and eating it as fast as you can in 60 seconds, while filming yourself. You then proceed to upload said video to social media. The problem is the health risks involved. You can potentially inhale cinnamon into your lungs, causing breathing problems and pneumonia. So I'd say save yourself some money and a trip to the emergency room and don't do it. One, the fire challenge. In 2014, teens across the country totally lost their minds by pouring flammable liquid on their bodies and setting themselves on fire, all while filming it to put on social media. Yes, this is a real thing, and no, no one made it out unscathed. As you've probably guessed, immediate and harmful injury occurred to the teens involved, including second to third degree burns and a direct trip to the hospital. I would gladly listen to the Macarena and wear Crocs every day if it meant not having these kinds of trends anymore. So what was your favorite trend and which one or ones do you regret being a part of? Let us know in the comments below. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the bottom right so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these three videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.